All right, Edward Pivos for M Live and uh, Motor City Comic Con has arrived in November, and I'm here with the great Alan Ruck. That's, Welcome to that's Detroit. To live up to. <laughs> well, you've lived up to it. I mean, adjectives. We've, we've got Ferris Bueller, which has stood the test of time. We've got Succession, which <laughs> uh, Speed. I mean, you got an unbelievable amount of projects, which we could go on forever. But I wanted to ask you a few questions, well, about numerous things, but real quick. I have some questions about Ferris. First off, the Red Wing jersey, because we're in Detroit. By the way, the Red yeah, Wings yeah. are playing at home tomorrow oh, night. I don't know if you've ever been to the new arena, by the way. I'll be here. Well, no, but at <laughs> night, after after we're done, you oh, can yeah. totally go. Oh, that's I might, Yeah, I might do that. I mean, do you have that Red Wing jersey still somewhere from the movie? No, I wish I did. I, you know, I wore it every day for three months, and... Um, it was a little uh, itchy inside the collar, and I was really done with it, you know. Uh, now I really wish that I did have it. Either Marilyn Vance, who is the wardrobe designer, has it, or uh, maybe uh, the Western Costume Company in Los Angeles. They might have it somewhere in a drawer. So it might exist. It okay. might be there. I mean, that's a long time ago. It might be falling apart now. <laughs> So are, were you a Red Wing fan back in the day, or was that just a movie prop? I don't know the story behind it. John Hughes uh, spent part of his boyhood in Detroit, and he was a, you know, a, a diehard Chicago guy, but he had, he had warm feelings for Detroit, I think because he visited his, uh, his grandfather here. And so he just made that be Cameron's backstory, you know, that Cameron's father was overbearing, but his grandfather was sweet to him and took him to Red Wings games, bought him a jersey, and his father allowed him to wear that to school because it came from the old man. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> Recently, I went to the suburbs of Chicago and did a little tour. I went to Cameron's house. They ha they actually rented out, or they used to. I don't know if they still but they used to rent it out. There's a there's a Ferrari there in the garage. It's it's amazing. Have you been back to that house like ever since the movie? No, oh, and man. I have not. That's a, <laughs> and I just learned too recently because the museum here, the Henry Ford in Dearborn, has one of the cars from the oh. movie. They may not anymore. It was a traveling thing. I see. But it's not a Ferrari. No, no. It was not a Ferrari. No. Well, first of all, it, you know, uh, that car at that time was worth a little less than a million dollars. I mean, 40 years ago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And. Um, so now, uh, one, one of those sold in Italy for $11 million. So first of all, we would have had to find somebody who owned something like that. And we, can we rent your Ferrari? And they probably would have said no. But even if we could have, the insurance alone would have been astronomical. So yeah. they had these kit cars that were uh, fiberglass bodies over Mustang chassis. And they were awful. <laughs> they, they never worked. Yeah. Interesting. Movie magic. Movie magic. Yeah. So you've had a... A lot of recent success. I mean, succession, amazing um, nominations, awards. I mean, crazy, yeah. awesome. Um, has that? Uh, you know, you've, you've been. You know, you've got you've had a lot of great roles over your career. But what do you have upcoming that maybe you know people, somebody who maybe saw you in succession and, and and you know you've been you know they wanted you in in an upcoming project maybe because of that or just anything in the past or. You know, what do you have upcoming, basically? The long question short. <laughs> what um, can we see you in coming up? I, I did a, 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 what do you call it, a sequel to uh, Wind River that has yet to come out. Um, I just played a dad in a rom-com Oh. Uh, in a movie called People We Meet on Vacation. That'll okay. come out next year. Oh, cool. Um, Mark Maron uh, yeah. is doing a movie called In Memoriam. I just worked on that this Monday. Uh, so there's a couple of things in the fire. Yeah, very cool. All right, so we got listen a lot of things coming up from Alan Ruck, and uh, we're just getting started. The doors have literally just opened here at Motor City Comic Con, so we're gonna let the people uh, meet and greet the great Alan Ruck here at Motor City Comic Con. Thanks. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it.